So we're going to set up a hydro turbine down on the stream there. Um, we just got this old irrigation pipe that was going cheap. That's uh, three inch, is it? 75 mil. Yep, 75 mil. We've got to go up there, what is it, 50 metres or something? Up the yeah, stream? Yeah, around 50 metres, yep. Yeah. Uh, and as we bring the pipes down in the creek, we can probably just feed them straight down there, maybe. We could try one and see if it, you know, bends an end or something. Yeah. Let's get started. All right. Alright, so we're just setting that pipe up. We've drilled holes in it so no gravel gets down into the jet. And we've got that at a level, it's just just above that top of that dam. We're draining the water out with this pipe and we're going to concrete that in. So it's just on a slope heading down. And um, the water should flow out of that nicely. Oh, day one complete. Well done. A few days later, and that concrete set well. Should we wrap it up and um, make a filter? Just using this uh, windbreak material. We'll wrap that around the pipe. And uh, that'll keep all the leaves out. Okay, I'm going to use the motor out of this old smart drive washing machine which I got at the dump. They have a permanent magnet type motor. Um, the stator is on the inside and that's the rotor that spins around the outside. So that's what we want, just the tub with the stator attached to the back of it. Everything else can be taken off really. So. We'll build the turbine around that, make a bit of a frame under it, and um, put the pipe in the side, put a Pelton wheel on the other end of the shaft, and the water will generate power. And, uh, yeah, that's a good frame. So that's stainless. Oh yeah. It's not too heavy, is it? Um, yeah, that'd be about the right size for a base, wouldn't it? Shit, that's just about perfect, isn't it? It's the whole frame moving there. Yeah, no, that's that's perfectly right. Yeah. Lovely. Good. Adjustable valve complete. I mean, it's a bit rough. Yeah, it does what it needs to do there. Yeah, and my welding 
is yeah. even rougher. Blur that bit out. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's open. It's a one of a kind, isn't it? Definitely. Work of art. Bloody good. Bloody good? Ready? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Water will come out that jet. Spin the Pelton wheel, which uh, spins the magnets over the stator, and that generates uh, three-phase AC. Goes through the rectifier, which changes into DC, straight to the batteries, and then from the batteries to the inverter, and that'll go straight up the cable to the house. So when the water's spent its energy, it'll go down through the drain hole, and straight out that pipe back into the stream so we're not actually using any water we're just borrowing some energy from mother nature okay so we'll connect up the stator to the rectifier it doesn't matter which way around they go they're all the same so that's three phases to the rectifier and then from the rectifier to the battery bank See the turbine down there, there's a bit of a cliff here, so we'll just feed it down there. Okay. So that's our battery sensor wire. That goes right up to the house, to where the controller is. And that'll tell us the battery voltage at all times. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. So the drill should shut down the valve when that gets to 29 2 I think it is. Not done it? Hang on. Yep, should work. Oh, bloody good. Perfect. Oh well, that's good. So, it's all ready to go now. Everything's working as it should. The controller is sensing the battery voltage when it reaches 6.5, which represents around 28 volts. Um, it sends power to the slave relay. Power from the inverter goes through the relay and to the hot water cylinder. So when the hot water cylinder thermostat temperature is reached, the batteries carry on rising and they reach the heater threshold which is slightly higher sends power to the heater relay so then the heater will come on and off so the batteries are kept in a quite a healthy state of charge most of the time so they should last last few years like that so it's all all working as it should all done you're getting plenty of hot water from the, the dump yeah 
Yep. Oh. No, it's working well. And then the second dump kicks in. Yep. Um, if I haven't used the hot water. Oh yeah. When the thermostat clicks out. Yep. That's and then and then that stage. kicks in. Yep. And it, it's only like for a second or two. And yeah. But and it just means I've have to shower every day now. <laughs> you need an hour long shower every day. Yep. <laughs> Alright, look how frozen that's looking. Nice and cool, isn't it? Yep. Very good. Lots of full of dog food. Yeah. That's for you, boy. Now that's looking good, eh? Yep. So, free power from water. It took a bit of effort, but we got there in the end. So, what have we got going on in the house here? You have a hot tap here? Or? Oh, I do, yeah, large. You see like, that water stone, eh? Take long to heat up. No, because the hot water cylinder is actually quite close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's warming up. Yeah. So that'll get to burn material because it's 80 degrees. Really? Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah, that's warming up. Definitely. Yep, that's the hot shot. Yep. <laughs> that's awesome. Yep, and we've got the shower. shower there. Yep. The TV's going most of the time, isn't it? Yeah, I actually have to put a... Um, I actually leave it going, but I... And <laughs> put a cover over it. <laughs> well, why not? It's not costing you anything, is it? So you've got two fridges, a freezer, TV, lights, hot water, washing machine. Basically everything you'd have in a normal little house, eh, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, should we go and grab a, grab a beer? Yeah. We might as well make use of a cold fridge. Sounds good. We've earned it. Yep. Beer fridge, eh? It's a good size. Gotta have it. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for the help. Yeah, no worries. Good work. Done. <laughs>